Southampton, of course, no wins in six uh, going into this game. However, they managed to get a point at St Mary's. Um, I'm going to start with a big talking point because I found this fascinating, the hudson Adoy situation. Of course, subbed on and then subbed off. The big question mark was whether or not he was injured. He was not. Thomas Tuchel said he did not like his body language and his attitude out there. Um, we've talked about this before, boys, and, and I know you've all, all kind of said this is one of the biggest insults that you can throw at a player, Craig. Yeah, and sometimes I've looked at it that way, but in all fairness to, and this might surprise you, I, I don't know, but in all fairness to Tuchel, now that he's come out and, and explained, <laughs> and in fairness to him, he's, he's come out and publicly explained why he did it, I, I, I can, I, I'm kind of with the manager here because he's trying to, he's gone into this club that has renowned for having power struggles, having big players, sacking managers, you know, left, right and centre as we know, and he's come in at a difficult period. They're trying to get in the top four. He knows what's expected of him. And he's trying to lay the letter of the law down. And he's trying to nail it down early. And, and he said, I was not happy with what I was getting and what I was asking for. And I didn't like the attitude. And I think he's sending a message out here to, to the other players. Now, you could look at it. And I don't know what the boys are going to say. We have not discussed this. Uh, but you could look at it and say, well, that's how you're going to lose a player. Or you could look at it and say, it's going to make the rest of the dressing room set up because he's not frightened to make these big calls. hudson Adoy, don't forget, has been a player who has played a lot since Tuchel comes in. Yep. He likes him. He really likes him. He said he might even play the Champions League in midweek. But I did not like, he said, what I've seen from the player. And I expect better. And for that reason, on this occasion, I'm going to go on the manager's side. Stevie? Well, I've actually done this. I brought a guy on with 20 minutes to go and took him off with five minutes to go. And if I could have my time over, I would do it differently. And I would do it differently because... Were well, you taking him off earlier? Case, <laughs> yeah. No, I think in the case of Tuchel, Tuchel could quite easily have taken off James and just moved hudson Adoy, And then afterwards, he can either berate him in the dressing room in front of the team or take him aside on his own and say, look, I wasn't happy with the way you were going about this. Uh, I could have taken you off, but I didn't. And then that way, you, you're still having a go at him, but you're keeping him on side. I mean, it's going to be hard for him to have Hudson Adoy on his side. He's completely humiliated him by taking him off in the first place. And then he goes out in the press and completely humiliates him again. So he's doubled down on it. So I, I think he's gone the wrong way about it. As I told you, I did, it, I did it once and I would do it differently. I would completely do it a different way again because I completely lost the player. Go on, Frank. Uh, it, it was a complete humiliation for me and I don't understand the, his behaviour. Um, um, I understand what Craig said and I agree with him. Um, Otson Odoi is maybe the favourite players for... For, for Tuchel, and, uh, and he used them a lot, you know, he brought him back to, into the, 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 the first 11 uh, as soon as he signed for Chelsea. So what he's trying to do, I'm going to use a metaphor, I think he's like a dog, you know, going into a park and trying to pee everywhere to make sure that he's going to design uh, all his territory. And it's what he's doing right now. He's, uh, I'm going to take my favorite player, and if he's not good, I'm going to put him out. I want to, I want to know why and how he doesn't put Werner out. Werner completely disappeared, was really average first half, completely disappeared the second half, but, it was, but stayed 20, 90 minutes on the field. I don't get it. I, don't get it. I think it was some other players. Kovacic was awful the, the second half. And I've never seen Kovacic losing so many uh, balls, you know, uh, in the second half. But he, he went out, but not like, like that. You can't do that. You can't br bring somebody in and put it out, you know, like 25 minutes after. That's horrible for a 20 years old person. I mean, I understand. Maybe he talked to him after. He said, I'm going to play you in the Champions League. But you don't do that. But I think for me, it's just that. It's just what I explained before. He, 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 he did like a dog on the t to, 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 yes. to, to create his territory. Marking his territory, That's Frank, it. I think, is where we're going. Well, he's, right? listen, Marking, he's, going to, he's going to succeed and fail doing it his way, whether we like it or not. And look, he tinkered at Mines. He tinkered at Dortmund. I presume he tinkered at PSG at times. Maybe not to that expect, but he's very reactive as a coach. You can see it on the touchline. And, and I get it. Had that been me in that scenario, personally, would I have been 
unhappy. I'd have been kicking the doors in to his office. Don't I, I, absolutely. But I, I'm not the individual, and he he's the manager, and he's saying, I get it, Frank, and you're right. I mean, Werner, there was a load of these players that were awful again. Mason Mount, was again, was the most liveliest player that they had. This guy that supposedly only got a game because he was Lampard's favourite. I mean, what a, what a bunch of muppets that were. Those were talking about that. But here he is <laughs> sending a young guy on with specific instru- instructions, a talented guy, and he's saying it wasn't because he made mistakes. It wasn't because he wasn't good on the ball. It was because he wasn't doing the, the, the work rate things that he wanted. And so he's, he's sending a message here. And, and he, he will live... Listen, they've got a, a tough string of games coming up now. Chelsea starting in midweek. But they've got some of the bigger hitters in the Premier League coming up. So, so he's going to potentially uh, live and die by these decisions. We'll find out. But what we can't escape as well, off the back of this substitution, is a smoke screen. Chelsea were pretty awful again, weren't they? I mean, it was it was you know 500 passes a goal again. I mean, there was like 25 minute period, half hour period in the first half. They never had a shot at goal, and they had possession for the sake of it. And that's been one of the things we've noticed uh, so far with Tuchel's teams. There've been lots and lots and lots of possession. Most of the time they've had results. Today they didn't, and now we have a big talking point. And he's got some huge games coming up, so. It's going to be interesting to see what the reaction is from both Hudson Odoi and this Chelsea squad. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.